Praise be to Allah, Allah Ta'ala's millions and millions and times over, millions of times over, we should do shukr to Allah that with health and with goodness, Allah Ta'ala has allowed us to reach and, uh, reach and arrive into Ramadan. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, may He allow us to benefit with barakat, with blessings in this month and allow us to do a lot of ibadah and worship. This is today is the first of Ramadan, alhamdulillah. And this great month and in these great moments and times, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us the opportunity, especially the moments close to iftar time, are very, very precious moments in Ramadan. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to do His mahboob, His beloved worship. This is all the fadl the blessings and karam of Allah. Otherwise, how can we be capable of reciting Allah Ta'ala's name? Allah's name, it is full of barakah. It is azim. It is great. In the hadith, the meaning of the hadith is such that when an individual will reach to paradise and he will see that by reciting the name of Allah once, the amazing and massive reward he will get. Yes, just by saying Allah Ta'ala's name once, you will get rewards much more than the deeds and rewards piled up to the heights of the mountains. And he will regret the time he wasted, especially those moments in which Allah Ta'ala has instilled such barakat, such blessings, so many barakat, that for every good deed is multiplied 70 times over. So we can imagine here that the kalamat we will recite, the amount of times we will recite Allah's name, we will send durood sharif on the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. We will do du'a. Imagine the immense thawab reward we will attain. Imagine. So we should try, make effort that not a second, a moment, an hour, a minute of Ramadan should be devoid of us doing dhikr of Allah, remembering Allah, and especially this is the fadl and karam of Allah, my friends that the majlis of dhikr when it is uh, brought about and created alhamdulillah we do our own things tasbihat but the thawab of majlis gathering is separate it is adheem adheem great thawab brother for majalis Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says I love the majlis the gatherings that I have appointed the angels that go to this this is the special unique jama'ah of the angels that go and look and seek and find out where is the majlis of my dhikr taking place and go and take part in the majlis so normal days the majlis is great but in Ramadan to leave such a gathering is sad sad so make effort wherever there's the dhikr majlis inshallah I'm hoping we're hopeful that Allah Ta'ala is merciful and he gives his blessings that the whole of Ramadan we will Continue the majalis after asr here also and continually every day. So try, this is a valuable time. Afdal, great moment, a person is tired. End of the day after ibadat, nafil after Quran. This is the final moments of the fast, day, isn't it? Before breaking the fast, everyone's batteries down, low, out of energy, out of power. Everyone wants to read Quran more or do more. But naturally, a person's body. It can only do so much, isn't it? So at this time, the dhikr of Allah is very beneficial. It's light. It may not seem very weighty or valuable, but it's very powerful indeed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that the dhikr, my dhikr, my remembrance, subhanallah, what a beautiful hadith. Allah ta'ala's dhikr, it revives the heart. It makes the hearts alive. The dhikr of Allah. And Ramadan was given for this reason that we can revive our hearts, clean our hearts, and reform our hearts. So in normal days, big power, dhikr. But in Ramadan, 70 times more the heart will become alive. 70 times more powerful will become the heart. So try, 
make effort like you've come to the majlis today, you've given up a bit of time, your energy, the time between Asr and Maghrib. Try to spend as much as you can in this time in the dhikr of Allah. As Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, I like to sit with the jama'ah, the congregation of people who remember Allah after Asr. So, shukr Allah Ta'ala, shukr, we are grateful Allah Ta'ala's fadl. Now we will do the dhikr of Allah, recite the Ruh Sharif.